Hi everybody, in this video we're going to take a look at the basic ready stance for table tennis. The basic ready stance is very important because it's the foundation from which we play all our strokes. We need to have a good basic ready stance that will lead us into being able to move naturally and quickly around the table and stay balanced and recover quickly while playing our strokes. Without a good basic ready stance to start with, you're going to find it very difficult to move around the table quickly and stay balanced while playing the strokes. So to start with, we're going to take a look at it from a side view. And once we've had a look at it from the side view, we'll have a look at it from a front view. Okay? And remember, the idea behind this stance is to keep you uh, balanced and able to move in any direction quickly and efficiently. So to begin with, just really face the ball or where the ball's coming from. In this case, I'll just put a ball on the table. Face the ball, um, just normally stand up straight, let everything hang by the sides. Once you've done that, bring the feet out to around about shoulder width. Okay, that's your, your basic starting position here. Then widen them out further until you start to get uncomfortable and you'll feel it on the insides of your legs and your knees when you get too wide. Once you're feeling a little bit uncomfortable, narrow the stance a bit so that you're feeling, again, nice and comfortable, but with the legs fairly wide apart. Now, having done that, lean forward a little bit from, from the waist. Bend the knees a little bit. As you can see, the knees have got a bit of a bend. That will bring your body down, closer to table height, and bring the arms up. Roughly a good idea for the arms is to have the tip of the bat pointing forward so that the arms are at a roughly a 90 degree angle. And as you can see, the elbow now hangs in front of my body a little bit. Okay, and we're, we're almost there. There's one more thing to do. The last thing to do is to take your right foot and move it backwards around about six inches or so behind the left foot. Just let your toes point nice and naturally. Don't worry too much about where your toes are pointing. Don't point them straight forward because it will make you a bit pigeon-toed and it's a bit uncomfortable. So just let them point. The left one will point out a little bit, the right will point out a bit. And stay wide with the legs and balance them forward. And from this position is your basic ready position. Once you've got to this point, what you should find is that you can move now, left and right, easy to move. Forwards and backwards is easy to move along the diagonal between the left and right foot, which is how we actually want to shift our weight a lot of the time. Shift it back for the forehand and shift it forward again. The only place where you'll feel a bit unbalanced is trying to move this way and backwards because your legs aren't really in the right position. But that's fine. That's fine. That's perfectly normal. So from this position, just really move around. You should feel fairly balanced in, in most positions. And just try turning the body. And you should feel that you're very comfortable and able to, especially on your forehand side, you should be able to get a nice balanced turn without any problems. You'll notice that in order to do that, my right toe points out towards the camera, which allows me to comfortably bend my knee. Okay? Now, let's have a quick look at that from the front view and repeat. So, just stand up nice and straight. Get the feet roughly shoulder width, just to start with. And widen out to the point where it gets very uncomfortable. And then narrow it again to where you feel quite comfortable. Bring the arms up, the hands up, point them forward. And a little bit of bend forward from the waist. So that now I'm in good position. And the last thing is bring my right foot back. Six inches or so behind the... So the toes of the left foot are about six inches in front of the toes of the right foot. Let the toes point naturally. And again, you should find you can turn... You can rotate no problems backwards and forwards. You can move 
left to right, no problems. You can move forwards and back along this diagonal and the only place you really can't move is this way because of the way your feet are. Again, this, as I said, works perfectly with our backhand is essentially this without a lot of needing to move, a lot of need to move our body. And the forehand, we go back onto this right foot and push diagonally forward. So this stance is designed to allow us to play a very well balanced backhand, a very well balanced forehand using our body turn and recover and move in all directions. So there you have it, the, the basic ready stance. Now the last thing I would say is there's a little bit of leeway on how far back you have your right foot. Some people prefer to have it a little bit more forward so that it's almost square. Some people prefer to have it even further back to allow even better weight transference. Try it both ways. It's, it's more a matter of personal preference. Uh, what you'll find is the further the foot is back, usually the more power and weight shift you can put into the stroke. Uh, but on the other hand, you tend to be a little bit more weak on this backhand because you have to turn the body around. But again, just put the foot back and feel how much easier it is to get backwards and forwards. You can still rotate fairly well, but the forehand gets strengthened a little bit at the expense of your backhand flexibility. Whereas the foot comes forward just a little bit, your forehand loses a, a, a fraction, but the backhand becomes much easier. And there you have it. That's the basic ready stance for table tennis.